when I started, everybody asking me, what are you doing? And I, and I, I, I tell them, you know, I am going to build a mud house. They said, are you crazy? Are you going to build a mud house? Why are you wasting your money? That is not the way to do it. Why are you not using the cement? Concrete building. Go and build the two, three-story concrete building. I said, no. We are not building concrete building. We are going to build a small cottage with the mud, using the natural materials. We visited India. It is the South uh, South India is Earth Institute. They have a very good job in India. They did the, all the earth building and the compass earth block building. When we showed that technology there, and myself and my wife decided to build natural building, and we decided we not, we are not going to use any cement, any non-organic materials. I did some studies in UK and about the natural buildings. Then after three years, we decided to come back to Nepal, build my own house. I go every day, 15K run. I did the three times Everest marathon. I did the 100K run in UK. And I love to nature. That's the reason I'm close with the, nat with the natural uh, nature type of oak. And when I go run with my friend, I every time go, I took the soil, taste the soil, everybody asking me, man, are you crazy? Why are you picking the soil all the time during the running time? I said, I need a soil to build my own house because, you know, we need a special sandy soil which are not available in this location. And I was looking that soil, particular soil for the, you know, it has to be sandy, little bit soil, little bit red color, you know, <laughs> and that's the reason I was looking everywhere. I decided to build rammed earth building. We use very tiny amount, 4% cement, to building the rammed earth. And why we decided to build the rammed earth? Number one, it is very safe for the earthquake. Number two, it is environment friendly. Number three, we are using the local materials as soon as possible. And I bought all the workers from my hometown. It started 2013, took me nearly one year and three months. The reason was, every material was new. I have to go get the other materials, you know, even the, I did lots of detailing, you know. You know, this is a little bit difficult job. You need to, you need to good mixing, you need to good materials choose, and you need to buy, do the, all the job by hand, by hand hard work. Since we bought the land and we did some planting and the whatever plant here, all are the organic and I do also permaculture. I got a permaculture training 20 years ago and I like to support the permaculture and get the, all the organic food, organic uh, lifestyle and that's the reason we build the, even the building also organic and this is the organic garden here uh, and this is a our house, we live here now. Round dot hole, and uh, we um, built by uh, by by ourselves using the local tools, local materials. We haven't used any uh, nomadic hammer, those thing. Here's the two pictures here. This picture is the uh, Mustang king's buildings there. In Mustang, they used to build the round earth. They have a, that technology already in Nepal. But at the moment, we are doing the modifying, slightly modifying with the round earth. Um, kitchen here. And uh, this is kitchen designed by ourselves. And we designed the island table here, which one we can work together and uh, easy to help each other. And this part, uh, the wood is, all the wood and all the bamboo, all those things, a local carpenter, and they did it. And that's a living area. 
we have a big open space uh, and everybody can sit here, everybody can eat and they, in case many visitors here they can enjoy and see each other and then if you if you have a dining table just sitting there like a, you control by the uh, just for the like you know you have to sit there eat there and it's your freedom you know if anybody can sit there and also health wise if you sit on the floor you don't eat that much food if you sit on the, the dining table because you're sitting like that you uh, your stomach is the, uh, not uh, loose and you eat lots of food if you're sitting like on the floor slightly you're pushing your st stomach and like uh, it is good to, <laughs> you can eat, eat less and good for, good for your health you know and uh, let me go upstairs and show you some how we use all the bamboo those things this is staircase and also this is the, the whole single wood and they made by the local made, local team who came from the Jumla. And uh, here's the doors, which is the all the frame is the wooden, and the, we use bamboo part. The reason is the bamboo is the very good uh, alternative materials, which one can grow within three years. And uh, like a wood, you need to uh, at least. 60, 70 years to harvest the wood. That's the reason we, we use lots of lots of bamboo and uh, this building will come in. This is our master bedroom and uh, here's all the roof, uh, we use bamboo. If, if we don't treatment the bamboo, it, uh, we, it can last, but the insect can attack and uh, when the in insect attack, bamboo doesn't last like 50 years ago. And this is a bed also made in by bamboo. And that's a, and this part is a defense material. Uh, <laughs> ground floor, we use the round earth, and the, the first floor, uh, this is a not round earth. This is a, we had a wooden frame, then we make a, a sawdust, lime, uh, using sawdust and lime mixed together. We make the sawdust, a small, small piece, and, the, and the, we, we make a small form, form work here, and the, put, put the, all the sawdust inside there, and did the small rhyming on inside there, and the, but we use the, reuse the sawdust from the sawmill. And the outside we put the flattened bamboo. On the top of the flattened bamboo, we did the mud plaster. And the both sides, outside, inside mud plaster. And the, when the mud, mud plaster done, we do the three coat. After that, we make that paint using local materials. This is a natural paint. Not, uh, you know, we didn't buy any uh, paint from the town. This is uh, made by ourselves. And the bamboo is the very good for the uh, uh, earthquake because bamboo has a good uh, flexibility. When the movement comes, bamboo can go down and come up again. Plus, using the sawdust, that material can be good for the uh, insulation. That's the reason you, we use that one. Okay, let me go through the, that side and I'll show you the... So we have some bee, honey bee here. There, there are a few honey, honey beehives here and uh, my wife she has a lot of experience on the beekeeping. That's a balcony, which is uh, this is a bamboo, and this is a, uh, wine or beer bottle. We use for the uh, recycle the beer bottle and make nice balcony here. That's the reason we use that one. Looks good and also uh, looks pretty. When we started building, a friend had just finished building his first, the first Randall uh, building in, in Nepal. So we were able to, to sort of follow his example and learn from what he'd done. So, you know, we'd been living in a concrete house for 18 years at this stage, um, just around the corner. And as soon as we moved, we felt completely different. You know, it's so much more comfortable. The microclimate inside the house is so much nicer it just has a, a nicer vibration altogether than the concrete so um, we, we were really really happy um, with the with the result and we were here during the earthquake and I was upstairs you know and so there was a, a lot of shaking of all this bamboo which is what it was designed to do 
um, and you know nothing broke and nothing, no damage at all. And all the little places where we designed it to be earthquake resistant, where there could be a little crack coming if it's so that one thing could move different from another, all of that worked perfectly, and we were we were really really happy with the with the results. So the round earth, 18 inches all, four corner is the same. It just balanced all the load. That's the reason um, the round earth can survive during the earthquake. And the other thing, what I realized, you know, I used to go around in the morning, four o'clock, come back. When I open the door, it's very warm, comes on my face, you know. Oh my God, you know, it's very nice and warm. And the, when I used to leave the concrete house, during the winter time, it is freezing cold. Since I built this sound, it is very comfortable. During the winter time, outside temperature is then two degrees, inside 19 degrees temperature. This is a very good temperature, you know. We don't use any heater, nothing. Number one. Number two, in summertime, keeps very cool. We don't need to open the windows. That's a natural material, giving good kind of properties. I was thinking, you know, this kind of technology, we should have a move all over Nepal. Everybody must have a house like that. When I finished my house, and the BBC media, they heard about the, my job. They came here, they took some interview with me. Since there, 800 or 900 people visited my house. Since there, I have to establish the company. Now I have built around 50 buildings. I have built a hospital, campus, school, farmhouse, libraries, residential buildings, everything, all the materials, local materials.